Luckily for me, it was just intramuscular damage, tendons fully attached. So it's just about fully recovered now. Well, they are more or less trying to win their side of the table by, as you say, jerking back. They're getting their opponent to their side of the table, hence getting closer to their body in a more powerful and advantageous position. When I went to India, I went to Mumbai and Pune. Sangam Chokle gave me so much hospitality, I'm forever grateful. I had an amazing time there. And on a side note, I think Indian cuisine has the best chicken ever. <laughs> oh wow. Much of a good catch. Hold on. Hold on, baby. You have to grab it in the middle. Yep, yep. And the other hand. You need two hands. <laughs> So, just wanted to give a little meat recap, I guess, of uh, Strongman Champions League Romania. Uh, definitely was not my best performance. I uh, ended up fourth place overall. It was just a point off of the podium. But uh, nevertheless, you know, it was just, it was kind of a shitty competition for me. Um, don't know what it was. I, I got... I guess for lack of any other better way of saying it, I just got sick on my way to the show. I don't know if I ate something wrong or if the travel kind of got to me because, you know, having coronavirus only three or four weeks ago, um, while my strength went through the roof on some things, uh, I guess my system was still a little fatigued and I think my immune system was just susceptible, just kind of down. So I got maybe, you know, if you can call it this, a secondary infection. And uh, that kind of put me down. You know, I felt crappy the whole time. My stomach just hurt. I felt like somebody was stabbing me. <laughs> Not the way you want to do a strongman competition. Um, but yeah, first event, you know, grip event. Uh, tore a pulley tendon in my ring finger, world's strongest man. And, you know, I've been rehabbing it, but haven't really had a chance to build the strength up. So I think I ended up fourth or fifth on that event, which is usually a really good event for me. Uh, the next was a truck pull. Uh, a couple guys pulled it and then five or six guys in a row couldn't move it, which I think maybe got into my head just a little bit, even though it shouldn't have, but uh, the start was hard as hell. There was no rope assist, so I had to dig in deep and really fight this thing to get it moving. Uh, my shoes were slipping, so you had to find that balance point between being, you know, not high, not low enough to get any leverage and then too low where your feet were sliding. And I think I was literally grabbing every crack I could find in the ground and trying to pull myself forward with uh, the tips of my fingers in addition to my legs. But once I got it moving, it, it rolled pretty well. And, uh, you know, it, it was a minute and five seconds or something like that, which if you've ever done a truck pull, a full minute of, you know, 100% effort is miserable. And my legs were fried after that. 
Uh, and that was one of the other side effects of coronavirus. You know, I, uh, my strength was up, but my endurance and recovery were definitely down. And that killed me for the next event, which is log clean and press. Now we did this on gravel, really uneven gravel. <laughs> To, to put it mildly, with uh, just a, you know one mat that wasn't wide enough for my, my squat jerk technique. So when I would try to jerk under the log, my foot would go off the side of the mat and into the gravel. And that's always kind of gotten in my head ever since I broke my ankle in 2010, when my foot got caught in the gap between the mats on a log press. And uh, when the log came back down, I broke my ankle. So, you know, anytime there's weird footing on an overhead log press event, it, it kind of gets in my head and that's just something I got to figure out. But uh, yeah, it beat me, it beat me bad. I had no leg drive because my legs still felt like jello. And I had no confidence because my footing was all over the place. So one rep with 310, which is just absolutely pathetic abysmal there's no excuse and at that point i was pretty dejected so i went into the crucifix uh like easter basket full of eggs crucifix hold um kind of early on without knowing a, a really good time to shoot for and so i ended up maybe somewhere in the middle of the pack which you know isn't good for me on you know, stuff like crucifix and, and Hercules hold where it's just how much pain can you tolerate? I'm usually really good at that threshold type of event, that pain threshold event. Um, so yeah, didn't, didn't fare well on that one. And then uh, my last event was stones. And if you've ever done stones when your stomach hurts, it's not a pleasant experience. <laughs> I, I was slow, man. I was slow as crap. You know, it was uh, it was a pretty light set to a moderately high platform, a little over four and a half feet from uh, 265-ish to like 385. Um, but I just had to kind of go slow and controlled and make sure that I didn't cause anything bad to happen <laughs> while rolling these near 400 pound rocks up my stomach and onto a platform. Um, yeah, 25 or six seconds on that event when it should have been 16 or 17, honestly speaking. Um, it's a little frustrating. But that's, you know, this year has, uh, it's had some ups and it's had some downs. I've had injuries and I've had wins. So kind of a turbulent year. Uh, but it's not finished yet. Got the Champions League finals in a month. And I'm feeling like I'm going to come with a fire on that event. The Phoenix is rising and uh, burning brighter than ever, baby. So, Turkey, watch out. Here I come. <laughs>